Senator Dan Real again with yeah, a political Dan. question. Um, given that we're in a, a national election year, this is clearly the, the politics of this can't be ignored. And, and I would think on the surface this plays against the Democrats. Wouldn't they want to resolve this? And, and yet at the same time what we're hearing or seeing is, is kind of this um, obstinance. What, do you have a take on that? Well, Dan, you've raised politics, so I, I wasn't going to go there, but I'll go there since you asked the question. Um, <laughs> It, it, it does strike one that uh, it seems that the Democrats in Congress um, won't allow this debate to happen because uh, the net result is that they would end up in uh, direct opposition to where their presidential candidate has staked himself out. Um, Senator Obama has uh, refused to consider American, additional American production. Uh, he has put more caveats than Carter's got pills to nu nu nuclear generation. Uh, I think most Americans agree that uh, renewable energy is something we should tap, we should uh, invest in, we should utilize. But they also uh, understand that, that you can't switch to wind and solar and eliminate petroleum, uh, that it just doesn't work. So it, it, it's a balance of that incorporated and directed to the right areas that free up other fuels for us to sort of move around uh, the deck and that over a period of time, hopefully as expeditiously as we can, uh, we match that with new technologies like plug-ins, uh, like hydrogen, and we're, we're able to reach that point of energy independence. And let me be the first to say, as long as we uh, get plastic garbage bags and drink out of plastic uh, bottles of water and do all of this, we're going to need petroleum. 